Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Cradle. This is kind of a lot of PG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today as we continue uh, to look for the for the mortar in order to um, to uh, macerate this little root. And I think I found it. I think I found it. But first things first, today is the 25th of July, so let's put this over in here. No, 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 that's not what I want. It's a garbage can. There you go. So welcome to the 25th of July, 2076. And I think, I'm pretty sure the mortar is over here. Is this the mortar? Because I think it probably is. Hopefully. Oh, no, what the hell is that? Tell me what that is. It isn't. Why is it? Why the hell do, I, do we have? Uh, don't tell me. I. It looks like something that he could... Do I need to... Oh, wait. 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 Is this the pestle or something? And where the hell did he go? It's over here. It's over in here. Let me just jump on the table and drop it from over here so it's better. I think... I'm pretty sure... No, do I need this? Because I might need this. And then use this on this. No? Maybe use this on this? That No, 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 no. Wait. No. Do I need to... What? How the hell? Come over here. Hmm. No. No, this is not gonna work like this. This is never gonna work. So how the hell do I do this? I have no idea what, what the hell I'm even doing. Some roots around... There's more roots outside, if you guys are wondering. If you guys didn't see my first episode. So I'm trying to cook some breakfast for some dude. But I can't find the mortar, which is something that I need... Two, I'm just gonna leave this thing on the ground because I don't care. And it's something that I need in order to... Uh, oh, is this? Is this? It is this, isn't it? I am pretty sure it is. I am hopeful it is at anyway. So that can't be used like that. So let me just put this on the ground. Let me just crouch a little bit so this stays up. And I think this is... It should be. It is. Yeah. I'm so good at this. I am so good at this game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh boy, I'm happy about this. I am happy. Okay, so let's just put this over there, some roots. And let's just leave this on the ground, because who cares? Who cares? That's salt. The salt jar is to the right of the pepper, but I don't know which one of this is the pepper, so this one isn't salt. That's for sure. I know. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Just you wait a minute. There's an instruction over here that tells me. That when I add salt, water will return orange. Then I need to return the salt to, the, to its place, right of the pepper, as Grandpa Batchin instructed. And Grandpa Batchin is this old fellow over here. Hello. No, that's uh, Grandpa Della. Are you Grandpa? You look my my look like my uncle. There you are, Uncle Bayartu. Oh, my uncle was not called Bayartu though. That's Great Grandma. Okay, there's lots of family stuff going around. I mean, this is after all a family yurt, as far as I'm aware. So. Let's see. This is probably not salt. Uh, so... But wait a minute. Let me see. It's orange. It turns orange, doesn't it? So as soon as... You, oh, wait a minute. Um, return the salt jar. No, wait. Wait. The water will turn orange. Okay. Let's start by the middle and then work our way to the uh, right. Hopefully this is, will turn orange. That's red. Doesn't look like orange. Hopefully that's not gonna ruin my... Yeah, this is problematic right here. This is a little bit problematic. Okay, that, that turned out for the best. But when I was playing playing by my own on the demo version, I tried to put stuff back in there and was terrible. That's yellow. Hmm, I don't think that. It... Yep, that's what happens. That I don't. I don't. I hope that it doesn't matter. This is blue. Okay, so that was not. That's that's my boy. That's my. I have no idea what the yellow thing went, <laughs> but whatever. I hope I wouldn't need it. There it is. There it is. So let's just put it over here, or whatever. And the guy. New task added. So what do I need to do? Bring Ongots his breakfast. What the hell is Ongots? And who the hell is Ongots? He should appear though. But while it's cooking, and apparently, the oh. <gasps> no, 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 what? Is that Ongots? Oh, is that an It's not an enemy, right? This is not a combat-oriented game. Hi! You beautiful, huge eagle of... hugeness, plus two. That thing gave me the goosebumps. What the hell? Hi! 
Hi! Are you gonna land? Are you gonna land over here? Is that your... Hi! <laughs> You're beautiful, man. You're absolutely beautiful. Oh, hi! How you doing, little guy? Hello, let me ruffle your feathers over here. No? Hi. Well, I have your food for you. So this, I guess this reads like, like something. Wait. So this is from Anabish, who apparently has a nose. So turn off your nose and don't look at me. Okay, whatever. Uh, but there's something about Ongats. I didn't say goodbye to Ongats. I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. Please feed him. Okay, so that guy ran away. Let me... F Ooh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Probably not food for a human. I... How do you like this? Doesn't have meat, though. Doesn't have meat, but hopefully... Hello. Here we go. Eh? How do you like that, huh, little guy? Ah, there you Eh? Fantastic. So, just that? Are you just gonna take a bite? Is that all? How are you doing? Oh, the game is saved. Good, good, good. So, what? Are you checking yourself out? Look like... Oh, I'm the man. I am the man. So, yeah. This guy doesn't do anything, though. He needs his vest changed. His vest? What the hell do you need a vest for? Are you gonna have some body or something? Do I need to take it out? The clasps first. Where the hell are the clasps? Are they back here? Get your wings apart, man. I need to find the clasps. What are these the clasps? No. This. These. Oh, there you are. There you are, little guy. Are there more down here? Let me crouch and see. Apparently there are, but I'm not sure I can take them. Oh, what? Oh, that's weird. No. 2053? Oh, that's the cradle. That's the cradle logo. And the music took a certain turn for the somber mood. Hello, you look so cool. <laughs> With a huge... Hello. So he does... Okay, so let's... Why? I know. I know, I know. I know. I've seen... I've seen a saddle for him. Or a, what? a vest. Not a saddle. It's not a saddle. I do wish that I could ride him, but... Uh, so there's some... There it is. This is the one. This is his new one. So I don't know why he needs it changed. But this is... It looks like it. At least. I hope it is. Ah, wait a minute. It can't be used? Why the hell can't it be used? Oh, there it is. Yeah, how do you like that? Is it cooler than the other one? Don't go away. Didn't say goodbye to the other dude. Wait, wait. The first thing I read about this game, the vest has, been, has some numbers on it. It does. It does. But off you go, little guy. See you later. Yep. So yeah, the, the, the first thing I remember is reading, this is my note. So is this my note? Am I an a bitch? An a bitch? I don't even know if I'm a dude or a girl. Or a dudette, I guess. So there's some numbers. Uh, so yeah, 2053, if I remember correctly. It is 2053. So what the hell is that for? Got an application for the numbers. I'm pretty sure there's a... Oh, I know. It's a tablet around here. It's this tablet. So it's this a huge 12 inches... Hey, look at the basil on this. So, read entries? Yes, please. Is that a password? 20? 53? It is, isn't it? Oh, look at that. That's a cool-looking tablet. It's made from some dude with a signature. Access granted. Yep, let's go. Uh, so, okay. So, I've got a journal now, thanks to Baha. My name is Enabish. I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Grandpa Bachin says lots of people used to live around here, but they all died when the dome blew up. The area has been deserted ever since, aside from myself, Bachin and Ongots. So, is this my journal? I guess it is. Oh, I'm writing this. I'm writing this, right? Okay, so, no. I don't know. Anyway, my name is Anabish, and I lived here with Bachin and Ongots. Bachin is Grandpa, and Ongots is that eagle that flew away. Ongots has very powerful claws. He obeyed my father and helped me and help them hunt hares. Hares. Oh, that yeah, hares. I don't remember my parents. They died in the explosion as well. So this is this post-apocalyptic. That's cool. It's Fallout. Fallout. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you guys that this was Fallout? It is Fallout. Just with with, with a mechanical girl. It's not Fallout, of course. But just you know what I mean. When the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You can't last long without light. 
That's why I crafted this transparent layers, layered vest, like in that program about greenhouses. It keeps on gods warm during the day, and when the night, shield, the night shield arrives, I put him into another warm vest. I collect and digitize flowers. Oh, that's my job, is it? Oh, weird. Collect and digitize flowers, I look for the prettiest ones and make photocopies of them. Tabaha takes them, uh, then takes them into town and sells them. The earnings keep him afloat while Grandpa and I buy cheese. Cool. I have this dream sometimes. I'm in a strange city. The day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's somebody besides me, but I don't see who. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with a strange sensation. Like I'm supposed to pass some something to somebody, but I can never remember what it, or who or to whom. I feel some kind of mix of anxiety and chagrin, and it it makes me want to go there, to that town. Which reminds me, I have to show you something, guys. I have to show you something, something very cool, very, very cool, but it'll have to wait. Grandpa Badgen has died. Ooh, that's my journal. Yeah, that's my journal. Grandpa Badgen has died. You want, so that I'm alone with the, the eagle. Oh, boy. You wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Tabaha even brought him the equipment, but uh, Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot he had re requested. Okay, it's a little sad, but uh, I guess th things like that happens. It's just, it's just life, death. Anyway, tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral, which means I'm already 23. Everything is still the same. I tried living again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness like before. I want to find that town for my dream. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for his helmet these days, but I might. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Ulton Bator. Too bad the G genometer won't show my number. I know how dangerous it is. Okay. Uh, we've read something about that. Uh, when I look up at the poster over my bed, for some reason I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy. Another little... Sp this is so... Such cool writing! God damn it! Oh man, this is very cool writing, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just... I am... No, okay. Let's keep straight face like a man. Yeah. When I was a kid, maybe five or so. No. <laughs> That's not... Okay. Enough. Enough uh, jibba jabba. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy. Another little space case. Ongads had found it somewhere and brought it to me. Then I saw dark swirls in the field, got scared, and snatched the toy away for some reason. And to make sure I didn't forget the hiding place, I came up with a clue. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A sorrowful tree with, will show you the way. A box in the sand with a mystery. Will a mystery betray. But now I can find it. Maybe the, the tree changed. So, yeah, maybe that's a secret. I, oh, it's... Yeah, yeah. It's, okay, so we got a new quest. So, come out of the yurt... And fly straight as the crow. On a rock with a snag. So it has to be a, to have a snag. So what exactly is a snag? Is it like a twig or something? I don't know. Look for an arrow. Oh, it's written. It's probably written. Okay. So it's not drawn on or carved or something. Uh, a sorrowful tree will show you the way. So it's a sorrowful tree showing the way. Why the hell? So the arrow points to the tree and then a sorrowful tree points to the box. In the sand with a mystery inside. Oh boy. That's that was so cool right there. That was so cool. I don't know. I was reading that. I was feeling weird. It was because gra grandpa died. Hmm. Is that grandpa? Looks like Tanta. <laughs> a little bit. No, it doesn't look like a Tanta. Woman with a child. A sign of uh, on the back reads Jumble two years. So that's not me. It's not me, so that's not my mom. Unless Jumbo is my brother. Which is not impossible, I guess. But there's lots of stuff in here. Can I open this? Anyway, it's closed. Okay, so your child's stats is hidden somewhere nearby. Come out of the yurt and find your toy. Okay, so we need to find our toy. Let me take... What shall I take? A, a shovel, maybe. Is there a shovel? There's a shovel outside. Can't pick it up, though. Okay, so come out of the yurt and fly straight as a crow. That is easy enough, I guess. Not fly, as just walk straight. Okay, so let's go this way. And then need to look for a rock with a snag. Whatever that means. Is this the rock with a snag? It doesn't look like it. This doesn't have an arrow on it. Is that an arrow? That's not an arrow, just some texture. 
So I need to go in this direction. Uh, so over here, there's a rock. Does he have it? Oh, there's the arrow. Oh, that was easy. The arrow points that way. So there's a sorrowful tree. Some. Oh, it's this sorrowful tree. It should be. I mean, does the, no, I don't know. Yeah, we'll get back to that in a moment. Let me go this way, because there should be a tree somewhere. Sorrowful tree. And I have to show you what I told you about before. Okay, so there's is there a sorrowful tree around? Are you sorry for something? Maybe because Grandpa died? Oh, there's another arrow! Oh, there's a... This looks like a... Bro okay, so the arrow points to that direction. Oh, is this the sorrowful tree? Oh, it... Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Um... So the sorrowful tree points. What points? Sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray. Oh, that's that's cool. It's cool rhyming right there. And is this the box? <gasps> I found it. Oh, that's a cool box. Oh, that's broken. Is it broken? Let me see. Is this what? What the hell is this? It's a Pokemon sort of thing. No, it's a. Oh, I know what this is. Glass balls, cold and heavy. We have names for those things in Portugal. I don't know. I don't know the name. It's beads. It's not names. Oh, this is my toy. Is this my toy? A little case, the same one as the pos poster. Oh, well, let me put that in my inventory. Let me see what's in here. Chewing gum insert. Mongolian comic book. Comic book hero slays a dragon. Cool. What the hell is that? It's not. Mini calendar for 2058. Sky rings the construction has begun. So that's an old calendar from the future, apparently. Uh, treasure trove of sweets, an assortment of candy. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh. Okay, so we've got our little time capsule. And before I do anything else, before I go back to the yurt. What was that? What was that? I like that. Oh! Oh! That is cool! So there's people. That's a tram or something. A, tr a tram. Tram. It goes away. All the way over there, over to there. Bye. Everyone inside. Or is it. Is it a ghost tram? Could be. Could be. Is the sun setting? I don't think it is. I don't think this game has real time uh, um, day evolution, I don't think. Because I spent a lot of time looking for the mortar. And the birds, the birds though, the birds are fantastic, they add such cool atmosphere to the game. Yeah, I want to show you, yeah, there's this little path over here, yeah, that's cool. Look at this, this is weird, I don't know what this is. Looks like a sort of wall, right? You guys, you guys don't know what it is, but then you check over here. Oh, I guess I know what this is. I thought it was like a, a, a submerged, not a submerged, but a, a, a sunken building or something. Got a massive hiccup right there for some reason. But this is a stop, uh, a, a, a little, what's it called? I mean, uh, the place where, where the tram stops and you get in. That, oh, I know. But look at this. Look at this. I have no idea what this, what this is. Looks like the... Could it be... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I know over here in Portugal, and I guess a, a little bit around the world, we have this sort of prehistoric locations where... Um, the buildings would all, will all crumble down of the years, and only the the bases of them. Of course, it's all made of stones, not like this with mortar and well, looks like little bits of um, tiles and all, whatnot. But this looks like. Will I lose consciousness though? Is that thing? What the hell's that? Poppies over here. Oh, this is a cool thing. Yeah, but this looks like the uh, looks like the structure. Structural bases of, of uh, foundations, I should say, of buildings that might have gone away with the explosion or whatever. Because that thing over there doesn't look too healthy. There's balloons, apparently, whatever those things are, but I'm not going to go there for right now. I'm going to go back to my yurt, where I leave all, all by myself, over with uh, as, along with that eagle guy. Is that guy, by the way? Is that Could that be a person inside an eagle, an eagle's body? Nah, I don't think it is. Uh, so yeah, there's this little location. This game is so cool, look, so yeah, it's just so fantastically drawn and modeled and fantastic. Just yo, there's a stair over here, a, a ladder, not a stair. And, and mm, cool. 
What the hell is that? Rocks? Something edible, an indistinct taste. So could that be like... Flour or something? Flour doesn't taste very strong. I think... I, I mean, you can recognize flour if you've had it. Uh, so what do I need to do? Connect the processor to the young woman! Oh, Hi! So where the hell do I connect your processor? Is it at the head? Let me just get this in my inventory. Make sure I don't break you. No? There is no room here. I need to free a slot. Oh! So her processor was damaged. Let me put that down over here. Okay, no, I can never measure. Oh, this is tiny. Very tiny. Let me put this over in here. No, I, I'm breaking everything. Jesus. Uh, let me put this down here. I think it's probably broken, so it doesn't really matter. Let me throw it. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. So I need to put this processor, the CPU, I guess, in her head. And there it is. Let me cover your head so you don't look like a freak. And, uh, by the way, there's there's another bell over here. There's her boobs. And she has something in there, but I don't know what it is. Um, and there's another panel back here, I guess. Down here, I think. But I, I don't know. I've seen it. Haven't I? The hand, maybe? Does she have fingernails? She does. Look. Oh, my favorite color. My favorite color. I love orange. But anyway. Hello. Oh, shizzles. Oh. No, 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 no. What the hell? Are you freaking out? Something is wrong. I had better turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh. Some components might be missing. I wonder what. Which. Okay, let me put this. Put her boobs down. Well, her boobs panel. I guess I can take anything from there. Yeah, might be missing, not broken. So just... Oh, let me put those back. Put those back. Okay, so... Your favorite... Okay, find a connector. Find and connect the synchronizer. A strange device on the yellow table. I'm not sure what it is, but its parts are identical to something I didn't quite finish reading. Hmm. So the yellow table. What the hell is the yellow table? Is that the yellow table? It looks like... A, I mean, it's yellow, but it's also white. So is this... Can I use this for something? No. There's some components... Here or should be some... No, it's not. this is not the yellow table. What the hell is the yellow table? Stop that noise. I hate that noise. Oh boy. Okay. There's photos over there. It was a good hunt. We got three hairs. Good. Good for you. So where the hell is the yellow table? Is that something... Oh boy. Find and connect the synchronizer. Okay, so I need to find the synchronizer first. But first I need... Oh, what's that? Plum, plum olive juice. Cool. So if ever if ever I get hungry or, or thirsty, I guess. So where the hell is the yellow table? This should be the yellow table. And the, is there any... Compo oh, what's this thing? No, this is sort of, of a mouse. Isn't it? Is this... Oh, danger. What the hell would, would that be danger in this? Okay, so car container. Okay, does it go... Let me put it in my inventory. This as well. I don't need to drop it on the ground like a, a barbarian. Let me put this in here. Oh, there it goes. It's her heart. That's her power device. Let's see. Let's hope for the best. So I got a new task. Let's see. Uh, okay, so let's, let's go. Are you working? You don't look like you're working very well. Something is wrong, okay. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, that, that looked like something went wrong right there. Okay. Something is missing. Which part, though? There's a... Yeah, there's so, something over there. Can I pick it up? Can't. Okay, whatever that thing is, it must be somewhere. But I think I'll get a clue in a moment. So... Can I... Is there anything else? Oh, there's another over here. There's There are two companion, components. Let me take your panel back uh, off. And that goes over there. No, so that's her heart. That is her lever, sort of. This is her panel. Let me turn her on. New task added. Switch on the mechanical woman and talk to her. Oh, finally somebody's gonna speak. Hello. Oh, you're freaking out again. Okay. Are you gonna stabilize or something? Oh, you're gonna sh explode on my face? This don't explode. No. Hello? Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, she's... She's working. 
Hi! Hello, are you tired or something? Hi. I'm a man. Okay, so I'm a man. Okay, that's, that's something. I didn't know that. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia. In some yurt. What happened to you? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yeah, I turned you on all right. Yes. Are you a mulga? A what? A mulga? I, I think I am, though. I, I, I don't know what that is, but I think I might be. I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? She's very straightforward with her questions. A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? <laughs> Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. Huh. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? That's not an answer. I want to know what's going on here. You're not a mulger. Well, what the hell's a mulger? I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. Oh, I think I might be, because that letter was not nice. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida, and I understand even less than you do. Do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? Mm, yeah, the, I read somewhere, not um, I, off camera, I read somewhere that uh, her the color of her eyes says something about her state. But I, I'll have to check that out. There must be something over here in this panel over here. I don't know. They're um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. You just laugh. How the hell are you scared? I guess some people act differently when they're scared. Calm down, Ida. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child? Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. Hmm. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. Eighteen years ago. Listen, Anabish. I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. What marker? The authenticity marker. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. Yeah, it don't look all right. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe. A sterility virus. 
They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program, transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. But then you'll be mortal, like before. That's all right. Wait, no, we won't. There's cloning technology now. Life can be extended, it's just that no one has taken advantage of it yet. There was no time. What's time got to do with it? The epidemic made cloning impossible. The virus targeted embryonic cells. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, passing. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Oh. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Wait, what? So, there was only one substance capable of, of destroying the virus, so that's why... What? Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M-body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, Passium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person, they became... Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... There were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Well, I figure. Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but... I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. Breathe? You need oxygen? I simply need to inhale air. It's been inherited from my former body. A reflex. Oh, oh, I can't yeah. get rid of it. All M bodies have a special module built in for this very purpose. It imitates breathing. That's why she's like having those convulsions. Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river, some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. Ooh. The Gerbera Garden. Yeah, it read that. I wish I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's an amusement park. Well, it looks the part. Some body parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. Body parts in a children's park? They were once used in a show, but I don't remember exactly how. All right, I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. Contact me, how? Help me understand something. What's that? Oh, yeah, I'll... yeah. I, I, I would like to... The, the episode is getting a little bit long. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just ask one question and cut the episode. What's a neurochip? A consciousness carrier. When a body gets replaced, the subject's nervous system is copied to the neurochip. There it lives and develops, just like in the former body, or close enough to it. For one thing, there used to be no need to reboot yourself. Reboot? Reboot? Sometimes the neurochip needs rebooting to clear the errors that accumulate. I don't really know much about it. Essentially, if too many errors pile up, it starts to disrupt your thinking. You start feeling out of it. That's when the neurochip should be switched off and back on. We call that a reboot, and it is a highly, highly unpleasant procedure. <laughs> well, fears. What do you mean by disrupted thinking? 
Well, your speech gets distorted, for instance. You start mumbling as if you're delirious, but it doesn't end there. Your motor functions can be affected. It varies. Got it. And that is Ida. Ida is a cool name. She has, she's, she can breathe, that's why she's, yeah, that's why she's like that. Okay, so we got a new task, we need to find her, yeah, we need to, first we need to go to the, what was it called, the gardens or something, uh, but that is gonna be for next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Cradle. Cradle. Say Cradle, did I say Cradle? It's Cradle. It's Cradle, isn't it? I guess it is. But anyway... I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.